Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Taos SE Black 4 Motion. This particular one is cornflower blue on the exterior with deep black roof. Black wheel package, black door handles, black mirror caps. This is a new trim for the 2024 Taos. It features an LED light bar and LED lights with adaptive front steering. The rugged looking Taos front end black accents around the air intakes on either side right here and here there's a look at that LED light bar typically this was only on available on the SE L Taos and now it's on the SE black as well it comes up to the logo on both sides does not illuminate the logo but it comes up to the logo there's a look at those black mirror caps black door handles and you have some uh, black on the Taos flare on the quarter panel right here There's the black roof line there. The A pillar is black as well right there and goes up to the back here. The four motion badge is also black right there. And it says SE off to the left, Taos underneath the license plate bracket. You even have darker tail lights and black accents or the blacked out uh, faux exhaust tips underneath the reflectors there. Black roof rails, panoramic sunroof are also part of this. Let's take a look inside. As we open it up here, the door inset here is gray leatherette with a blue stitch right here. The blue stitch is unique to the SE black. Uh, you have it down here as well. The arm pad is also black right here. Bottle and cup storage in the door there. Here's a look at your seats. Blue stitching on the seats front and rear. On the arm pad and also on the seat here it's Cloudtex. And leatherette on the edge here. Power lumbar right here, forward back up and down here, seat back adjust there. It's a cloud a cloud text cloth and leatherette combo. It goes up behind the, the headrest here. The headrest is leatherette with a blue stitch on it as well and manually adjusted. As we go ahead and climb in here, the differences that you'll notice between this and the regular Taos SE, there is no night blue color up here on the dash and the surroundings. It's it's a uh, gloss black or piano black finish instead and then you have this leather this gray leatherette going across with the blue stitch even under the infotainment screen into the door panel over there I had the headlights on but you do get automatic headlights here I'm going to turn it back to auto there so you have those there a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel uh, just regular black stitching on it piano black down here at the base of the steering wheel flat silver finish on the spokes the Volkswagen logo right there in the center volume control over here to the left song skip and preset skip off to the right you have your adaptive cruise control button right here a regular cruise control there and then you also have your travel assist button down here on the tip of the turn signal stalk is a button that's where you bring up your safety systems there's lane assist adaptive cruise control which I use this button to turn it on so adaptive cruise control is on now and then I also have regular cruise control blind spot monitoring rear traffic alert and front assist and I can actually close out of this as well and I've got three different displays here that I can do for this screen. So by hitting the view button, there's my speedometer view, my tachometer view, and then also the blended view right here. Over here on the infotainment screen, it's an AM, FM, and satellite radio. You got AM and FM here. I wanna go ahead and adjust this knob because I'll hear about it if I don't. Make sure it's straight up and down. Um, but you do have gesture control on this as well. So I can go here. As long as you see that hand right there, it means you can wave a hand in front of that. It's showing you that it's looking for it there. So you've got 36 presets. You do also have uh, App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto or Apple CarPlay wirelessly on this car. It's wireless charging down here. Two USB-C connections there that are also backlit so you can see them at night. And a 12 volt charger port right there. There's a backlit shifter here so you can see it at night, what gear you're in. Uh, and then also you got dual zone climate control here. Uh, so six buttons essentially on these three knobs here. There's your max defrost, rear defrost there, auto for your temperature settings here. So you set this like a thermostat and then it'll either heat or cool to get to that temperature. The menu button will bring up the touch screen here where you can do this stuff on the screen as well, as well as adjust your fan speed here, turn on and off the sync button here and adjust your temperature warmer or cooler by touching red or touching blue. Uh, over here then you have your max AC and an AC button down below 
You also have heated seats for both driver and passenger. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off, just by touching the button repeatedly there. Uh, your vent setups are right here, and then you also have your recirculated air there. Of course, hazards are right there. Uh, on this um, radio here, you can also have a back, you also have a backup camera here. So by putting in reverse, I get this HD camera here. No trajectory steering though. I just have the green lines which signify straight back. The red line that signifies where my bumper is and also where the hatch opens. You do uh, have um, just a regular stereo system in this one. This one doesn't come with Beats Audio or anything like that, but you have these different settings here where you can move. Pardon me guys, fighting off a yawn there. You can move the speakers around. So if you have somebody sleeping, you can actually gear it to where it's not uh, disturbing those people. Uh, again, the radio is AM, FM, and satellite. Uh, now you do get um, the black finish in here, and then you also get in the glove box here, you get your manuals and a tire warranty in there. Lots of storage in there as well. You do not get ambient lighting on this one. I do not think we're going to check it out to see here. I don't think there's an ambient lighting. Yeah, you don't have ambient lighting in this one. Uh, you'll have to go to the SEL to get that. I just wanted to double check to make sure. Bottle and cup storage over there as well passenger seat manually adjusted that's the lever to move it forward and back here's the one to raise and lower it in a pumping fashion and then back here is the teardrop shape one to adjust the seat back nice and comfortable here you can also see there's a little net right here for storage maybe map pocket or something like that right there on the side um, and then you do also have um, all-wheel drive with this one so you have this little knob right here there's a snow mode so by turning it to snow there's snow, eco, normal, sport, and custom, which I can touch right here and change it. I can also push the button here and change it if I don't want to put fingerprints on the screen or as many fingerprints, I should say. And then I also have off-road and off-road custom. And off-road custom is going to allow me to tweak these things here. So heel descent on and off, uh, heel start assist on and off, off-road, uh, I can do normal or off-road. Uh, for all-wheel drive system, the steering is normal or sport drivetrain is going to be normal or off-road and then adaptive cruise control is going to be normal sport or comfort or eco and then light assist is going to be normal sport or off-road and then climate control is normal or eco so you have all of those different things there i'm going to go ahead and turn it back to the roadway there now i'm back in my normal mode there um, now the cup holder stadium seat style cup holder here so this one's a little taller this cup holder is a little taller than the one behind it so you don't have lids battling for supremacy on the way home from the drive-thru. Uh, you also have storage right here for coins, maybe an ink pen or two. Uh, here's a look at your key fob. Uh, so as we hear it, this is going to be the last year for this key fob. It has the Volkswagen logo right there. And then you have uh, unlock here, your trunk release here. That is not a power lift gate, so you're not going to get that to open. It just unlocks. Remote start there and uh, lock right here. Panic alarm on the side. Nice thin key, fits in your pocket nicely, doesn't take up all the space in the armrest here storage in here as well deep storage there there's no usb-c in here or anything like that but you do have deep storage in there up above this does have an auto dimming home link mirror right here three-door garage door memory on the left the bluetooth button right there and a digital compass there that's an added option on this one vanity mirror on each side with an led light above you have that on both sides and you have this light gray headliner here this one also has the panoramic sunroof so here's the button to open the sunshade just push the back the arrow pointing back and that opens it you can touch it at any point to stop it or just let it go all the way back and then this button here pushing at the front of it opens the sunroof that pane of glass stacks on top of that one there pop-up windscreen right here the glass is tinted as well so it does keep the sun out even if you have the sunshade open very nice setup there it's a little hot today so I'm going to go ahead and close that uh, and just leave the sunshade open but you can see how expansive that sunroof is very very nice Let's take a look at the back seats. As we climb out, there's a look at the wheels right there. 38, I'm sorry, 34, 811 is the cost on this one here. That includes 395 for the cornflower blue and deep black roof exterior. So paint extra right there. 405 for our auto damming home link mirror. 296 for monster mats and heavy duty trunk liner. 275 for a third year of prepaid maintenance. And 1425 for destination brings you to that 34, 811. As we open the back door here, back here in the back, this is, is uh, the textured textured plastic back here rather than the um, uh, leatherette that it, that it has up front. 
The arm pad remains leatherette here with the contrast stitch or, or the blue contrast stitch there and then bottle of cup storage in the door there. There's more of that blue stitching on the seat there. Also back here on the back of the seat, there's a fold down armrest in the middle. It's squishy yet firm. This is also a pass through so you can use, uh, use it for larger items. As we go ahead and climb in here, I'm wearing Star Wars socks today. Not sure if you can see what they are. They are Star Wars socks, I promise you. Right here is the vent setup right here. A little storage cubby right there and a USB-C right there. Still comfortable back here in the back seat. Nice and comfortable. Uh, the leg room here. And there's also more vents down underneath the seat there which you can see there. They're on both sides over here as well. There's a pocket here and also over on this side. And then that, there's that blue stitch going up the side of the seats there and around the back. The base of the headrest as well. Look up at that panoramic sunroof with the tinted glass. I'll go ahead and shut this door here. Nice solid sound of the door there. That piano black finish continues back here. It picks up off of the dash there and around the door handles up there to the door handles here. And also, of course, on the other side. Car seat hookups here and also over here behind me. There's a look at the adjustable headrest on all three seats and that extra window right back there. Let's take a look at the back. There's another look at your wheels right there. As we go ahead and climb towards the back here, underneath the VW logo, just squeeze right there and lift up. It's hydraulically assisted. Here's a look through from the back to the front of the five-seater vehicle. There's your panoramic sunroof, your infotainment screen right there, and instrument cluster. The seats are still plate reinforced on the back here, so in the event of a crash, any cargo you have back here will want to go forward at impact. It, the steel plate in the back of the seat stops it from injuring people in those seats. You have top tether hookups on all three of these seats back here. Here's a look at your monster match right here. They say Taos on them right there. Cargo blocks, the trunk line, heavy duty trunk liners right here, part of the cargo protection system. And there's a strap underneath the floor here to pull up and get to your spare right there. And then also the jack apparatus is off to the side. You have a recessed LED trunk light on the right, bag hook also on the right, right there and then a 12 volt charger port over here on this side. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. There you go, right there on that side. There's also an optional privacy cover that you can add to this. There's a the handle to close the hatch there. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles and includes three years of included maintenance on this particular model. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you an additional three years of included maintenance. Uh, that's that's a local deal only though. You'll have to come to my dealership to uh, redeem those those extra three So a total of six years 60,000 miles of oil change and tire rotation. So with that that deal Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's I'm gonna give you a 10-year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge So if you're interested in this car or another one like it, give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257 I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.